So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and move my fuel flask here, and we've got a sample. And as you remember, we got the sample, of course, before the primary fuel filter. You wanna keep in mind that we've got two samples here, and they're both diesel fuel taken out of different vehicles. This vehicle ran okay. This vehicle basically had a drivability problem. Now, this diesel fuel is a bit on the cloudy side. This stuff is really clear. So if you want to emphasize that, you can go ahead basically and put a piece of paper with some writing on it and get a look at it and look through the writing and you can see the difference pretty much between the cloudy versus the clear if you can't see it on your own. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test this fuel that we have over here and to test it for specific gravity to see if it is diesel, if it's diesel one, winter blend, or diesel two, or maybe not diesel at all, I'm just gonna take my hydrometer and I'm gonna just go ahead and drop it in the fuel. It's that simple. And this particular number is around 36. We're gonna see very simply on the chart that 36 equates to a winter diesel blend. What I'm gonna do is check the fluid for contamination as far as water or any kind of foreign material mix. Notice how they don't mix. They stay in a round ball and drop all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna load this up with a little bit here so you can see what's going on. This diesel fuel checks out very good. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a bit of urea in there and watch what happens instantly, okay? You'll notice that right at the bottom of the cylinder now, which is where the urea and water that's in the urea is gonna end up with, because they have a little different specific gravity than diesel. Notice how it's really, really blue. So that shows us now that this test fluid is actually mixing with the diesel fuel, which means it's not all diesel fuel. It's got foreign material in it. The test is as easy as that. So how long did it take? Well, let me show you once again. Here you go. Done. Okay, there's your test.